this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform the installation for ANSYS Electronics Release 19.0 on the Linux platform. Before proceeding, close all ANSYS applications. Have administrator access to the installation computer. You'll need to download the product files from the ANSYS customer portal and extract them to an accessible directory. Note the host name and port on your license server machine. This demonstration will begin in a directory containing the extracted installation files. Run the install batch script as root user. This brings up the ANSYS Electromagnetics installation shell screen. The installation shell presents a list of all the software included in the full package. We'll install the ANSYS Electromagnetics suite. You can also install Electromagnetics RSM if you need to configure distributed solves to a remote machine without using a scheduler. You'll also be given an option to install Electromagnetics RSM at the end of installing the EM suite. Layout integrations for ECAD adds ANSYS A-Links menu items and third-party layout tools. For now, click Install Electromagnetic Suite. This launches the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite Linux 64-bit edition dialog. Click Next to continue. Read the ClickWrap software license agreement completely. If you agree to the terms, select the Accept the Terms box. Click Next to proceed with the installation. Enter the username that will own the software. This user will need to have sufficient privileges to write to the specified installation directory. Select Next. Now you can choose where to install the ANSYS EM products on your computer. Accept the default installation directory or you may enter your own directory. Click Next to continue. Next, specify the temporary directory location. This directory will be used as scratch space for the solvers to do their work. So it should be on a fast local disk with adequate free space. Modify the path of your temp directory if required. If you need to grant read-write access on the temp directory to other people running remote simulations on this machine, check this checkbox. We'll just accept the default here and select Next to continue. Select the local library installation. Most users will use the local option. If you are working in an environment with a shared set of common libraries, you can set that up here. Click Next to continue. Next, you'll need to tell the software how to find the licenses. You will select from one of the three options. If you have an ANSYS provided license and want to set the reference based on it, select I have a new license file. If you know the machine hostname and port of the license server machine, select I want to specify a license server. If you already have licensing set up from a prior ANSYS CM release and want to keep the same configuration, select I want to keep the current license configuration. We'll set up licensing specifying the license server. Specify the license server computer hostname. If your organization is running a redundant triad server configuration, then select Specify Redundant Servers option and enter the names of all three servers. The idea of the redundant server is to maintain license availability in event of a hardware failure on one licensed server. If you are not sure you are using a single or redundant licensed server, check with your system administrator. Select the server TCP IP port number box. You will then enter the TCP IP port number that the license manager is running on. The ANSYS License Manager uses port 1055 by default, but your organization may change that. Check with your systems administrator if you're not sure. Click Next to continue. Select No. Do not install the USB Flex 9 driver. Click Next to continue. Now ensure other applications are closed and review these settings. Notice this dialog gives required disk space. If you are satisfied with the settings, click Next to complete the installation. The Install Shield wizard now installs the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite. This may take a little while. Click OK to continue. Click OK to continue. After installation completes, press Finish and exit the dialog. The original installation shell window appears now. Press Exit to complete the installation. You can now start the ANSYS Electronics Desktop Release 19.0 by running the specified installation path forward slash ANSYS EDT. Click OK to continue. Click OK to continue. Click OK to continue. Click OK to continue. This concludes the installation demonstration of the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite 19.0 on the Linux platform.